Hey everybody, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming, and today we're playing a new game, Cafe Owner Simulator Prologue. This is available on Steam and anybody can play it. We thought it looked interesting, we do play another game that's a sim that's called Gas Station Simulator. And we thought it might be fun to play. Um, every once in a while, we like to throw in some new stuff like this, and we'll do a demo or a, or, or a prologue or uh, play test keys that I get. And so we thought we'd give this game a shot today and give it a first look and see what we thought. So we'll just get started. It's a new game. It says, my father was in the restaurant business for all of his life. Every day after school, I would run into him at work and watch how he ran his business. He was strict, a strict but fair boss. Business was going very well. My father wanted to open a second restaurant in the neighboring town. Half of the money to half of the money to open it had been raised, and he planned to borrow the other half from the local mafia. He'd been friends with their boss since college. Don't know if that's a good idea. My father borrowed money and opened a second restaurant. Unfortunately, it turned out to be unprofitable. For days on end, he searched for the reason for the failure, but never found it. At some point, his health declined, and he ended up in the hospital. When he returned from the hospital, he began to go over all the bills that needed to be paid. He realized right away that he would not be able to pay them all. He didn't sleep for almost a week. Thinking about closing the business and retiring, the decision was made. My father sold the business, paid off the debts, and retired. It was my 26th birthday. We decided to celebrate it in our favorite place. My father raised a toast to me and to his retirement. Afterwards, he handed me an envelope. I opened the envelope and saw a check for $50,000. Now your dream is real, son. After these words, I realized that my father knew how all through my childhood I followed his work with burning eyes. I was extremely happy and decided to revive the family business, restaurant business. Okay, so I downloaded this yesterday. I tried it. I played a little bit so I can kind of get an idea of what we were looking at. Uh, the game is similar to the gas station simulator that I played in some ways. In some ways, it's a lot different, but we'll see right now when the game starts. Welcome to Cast Castle Lake. Welcome to Castle Lake. I hear you're planning to open a restaurant and motel here. If so, that's good news. Now, I don't know if the motel side of this is something that will be a DLC later on once the, the game is released. Our town doesn't have enough places to eat and have a good time. My name is Michael and I'm the local sheriff. If you need my help, you can always call the police department. Good luck with your business. Have a good day. So we hit enter to close that. So here we are. Now, question marks weren't in it yesterday when I first downloaded that. They had a patch this morning that they added. Hang on for a second. Let's turn the music down. Back, I'm going to turn the music off. All right. Let's head back. Continue. Okay. So, yeah, the question mark wasn't in there yesterday. So that's pulling us back towards that direction. As you can see, it's kind of trashy and dirty, just like the gas station sim was when we first started it. So, let's figure out how to enter the restaurant. So we hit E, that takes that, E picks that one up, E picks that one up, and that gets us inside. Now it's just find the electrical box at the back of, in the backyard, and turn on the power. 
So this must be the power room. Now all these, like I said, these little question marks, which will guide you right to where you need to go. That's kind of nice. Tools. You can find them in the tool store in the tablet. You can use them after purchase. Open the inventory by pressing F. So if we hit F, that shows us what our inventory is. The only thing we have right now is a rake. But if we hit tab, that opens the tablet up. And we can see there's a tool store here. We can open that up. And we can buy things from here. I'm not going to do that yet because it hasn't prompted me to do that. We'll purchase a net. Okay, so now it's telling me to do it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll buy the net. I'm going to buy the mop as well just so we have it. There's all kinds of stuff on this thing. Um, this is the main store and where you purchase things, items, you can do kitchen stuff, cashier, furniture, games, lamps, pictures, you know, all the little things you'll need for decorating and whatnot, exterior items. Instructions grayed out right now and other. So we have all that stuff in there. So now it's telling us to clean up all the trash around here and we'll go ahead and do that now. Now in the tool section there's a rake and that's what you use to get these with. You let We'll right click the mouse and it makes the tool disappear. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let's get all this cleaned up. Do the trash and stuff first. Get all these things picked up. Trash can is full. So we'll go over here. Now it seemed to me that yesterday it would allow me to collect a lot more trash than that. But it says to go to my restaurant. It's going to cost us 50 bucks. We'll order it. Now we can't clean it up until the trash can guy comes and picks it up. And there he is. There's the trash can that moved too. It used to be over here, and now it's over there. As soon as we see him drive away, we'll be able to click, pick up the trash again. There he goes. So we're not cleaning up the trash again. Let's continue on. Alright, so now we'll crack our rake out again so we can get all these lead files. Looks pretty good. There's a moose. I don't know what his story is. He must be in place close to Canada or something. Hey, we leveled up. Yay! New features have been unlocked. I don't know if those are yet. Get all this outside done first. These neighborhoods are inhabited by homeless people just like everyone else, everywhere else. From time to time they may visit your step and ask for money, do harm, or sometimes just to observe. How you deal with them is up to you. So, 
the thing with the bum is kind of vague. Um, let's see. What can we do with this? Anything? Nope. So you have a can here. It's the only one. You just got to watch it. If it gets above 70% or once it's above 50% you can pick it up. Let's go ahead and grab our net. See if we can capture these mice. Comes one now. So for now, let's just get all this trash cleaned up. It will make it easier to get those guys. They don't have things they can hide under. Why not? What are we missing here? Oh, the branch out front here. He now he wants us to fix the foundation blocks, the roof, and the windows. If you can see some of these foundation blocks looks damaged, if you walk up to them, you hit E, it gives you the block, then you left click and it puts it down. And that's how you repair these. Okay, it takes care of that. Let's go up on the roof and fix it. Hit E, gives us a hammer. Left click to hammer it, fixes it. This is probably the easiest repair for a roof that I've done so far. Okay, so in the game, I guess there's a couple of these things, these cans, they give you rewards or whatever. So let's pick this one up and see what it says. So it gave us plus 93 XP, plus 117 construction. Periodically, you can find metal cans. Open them. Opening them will give you a random cash prize and experience points. The cans can be found on all game levels. So there's actually one back there in the electrical room I forgot to grab. So we'll head back down there once we get the roof fixed and pick that one up too. Okay, so as far as I know, that's it for the roof. So let's go grab that other can I forgot about. And that one gave us 185 tra cash transaction and 93 experience. Okay, roof and windows. Okay, so as you can see, some of the windows are busted. You hit E, gives you a pane, you just hold the pane over it. 
Let's switch the left click. I just hold the left click button down and slide my way around until I fixed all the, the average windows. And that's that. Okay, it says paint or wallpaper the walls, install three smoke detectors. Now, it doesn't let you do any painting outside the store, but in here you can paint or you can do all kinds of things. I'm going to start, it doesn't tell us to do this, but I'm going to start with the floors. Now, there's all kinds of different designs and stuff that you can do. You can't try them. You, you know, the only way you can see how they look is by purchasing them. But they're only $10 each. And so, it's not too bad. So, I kind of like this design. And what I did is, how I'm doing this is, I'm just doing an exterior... So it's ten bucks each each time you lay a piece. So I did it like this and then and then what I did is I went back in here, back into the floor section. And I chose to do this in the center area just to kind of give it a little depth. Then in here, I put down more of a kitchen tiles type thing because this is going to be the kitchen. Okay. And so that's how I did the boards. Now we need to do the walls. We can do the ceilings, I guess, too. Now the ceilings were in here. Let's see, what is that? There's a number of different styles and stuff. There's one down here. Did I miss it? I kind of like this one. Because it's more of like a rustic ceiling type thing. But before I go on with this one, I want to look at another one real quick. I was curious how this one would look. I want to do this one real quick just to see how it looks. Yeah, I don't like that one. So you can see what this one looks like. This one's kind of cool. Maybe we'll do this one. It is rather dark though. Yeah, so I think we'll stick with the one we were doing in the beginning. It's white. It reflects the light better.
bed. And then the ceiling in here. I'm trying to keep it, keep it more kitcheny, so I did a tile ceiling as well. Now the walls. So the walls are a little tougher. Now I can't paint the walls instead of putting a something like this on there. I thought this this would be cool. A cool er. Kind of like the wood. then that doesn't look too good it's too rustic not really the look we're going for don't like that one either I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Wallpaper. Let's see if we can find a decent design that might go well with our decor. Let's see what this one looks like. Might be a little loud. I think I like this one, so we'll do this one. That one doesn't look too bad. I don't know why we can't. There we go. Come on. There we go. Get this one. Let's see if we can get this light up. And you can always come back and change this. Okay, so I'll leave it like that for now. And here, of course, we want to go with the tile. So I think we'll do this one. This is a lighter one. There's not. And so let's do it this one. Now, for some reason, you can't access these walls. I won't let you do anything with them. I don't know why that is. The same thing out here. So, we'll just leave them like that. Alright. We now have to put up the smoke detectors. We need to put three of them up. Those will be found down here in the other section. 50 bucks a piece which is pretty expensive if you ask me but whatever so what I did is I, I go to the third one out try to center it a little bit put it there I did the third one out from here and I put it here and then I'm going to put one right in the middle of this room, which is going to go right about there. Okay, so we're done with that. Now it's telling me to set up the menu. Now, here's the problem with the menu. 
it won't let you really do anything with it. Like, I want to add this, right? If I add it, oh, it's working now. Yesterday it wasn't. So let's raise this up till it's in the yellow. Don't want to do that. I'm going to do... I have to add five items. Let's do the lasagna. Let's raise that up till it's up in the yellow. Let's do the pizza. It's already in the yellow. That's already in the yellow. So that's four items. I'm going to scroll back down here. I'm trying to stay kind of on an Italian theme. So I'm not going to want to do the mashed potatoes and gravy, but I will do the mushroom soup. Let's raise that up. All right. Now, this goes in three colors, phases. Red price indicator is high price. Green is low price. And yellow is optimal. I'm trying to stay in the optimal range. And what this is going to do is, if I leave these in the green, we're going to get a line all the way to the street. In the beginning, we have to do everything, pretty much. We'll have one cook, and that's about it. But anyway... I wanted to do it so that it, I could get the opposite op, optimal return on it and also kind of give me crowd control. We won't get as many customers as fast at these prices as we would if they were in the green. And all we're trying to do is serve 29 or 50 customers, I think is what the goal is. But now that we've bought all this food, it's going to require machines to cook. Now, if you look up there where it shows the requirements, it, one side shows the food, the other side shows the machines. We're going to need a refrigerator, a stove, and a prep table. And so, every one of these all require that same amount, same thing, so that works out for us. So, we need to escape out of here. We need to go over here. It's telling us to order the food. These are the foods. Now, the ones that the food that we need is going to be highlighted with the green circle. So we need to purchase all this stuff. I'm going to purchase double shots of this stuff right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is stop there. I'll come back to start the second row in a minute. Because now the boxes are delivered out here. I want to get them into the freezer. And I've, the first time I did this yesterday, I ended up with quite the mess. Okay, so it's telling us to stock these on the freezer shelves. Now you can load them on the shelves over here and it's it builds them back shelves up first, or at least it was yesterday. Let's test that theory right now. Yeah, see it put it back there. You don't have to run all the way to the back of the freezer to do it. But yeah, I ordered everything at once and then there was just boxes for days back there. Which kind of is a pain in the butt. It was a mess. Then you have the bums that come around, and so I didn't want a bunch of boxes out there for them to steal stuff, because once they contaminate them, you can't pick them up. Like, I found a box laying over here, and I couldn't I, could, I couldn't pick it up, and it was stuck there. And I think it's because the bums will r r r rummage through them if, they're, if they have a chance. And so I'm trying to keep it a little more manageable. So I'm not leaving a bunch of stuff out here. And especially when it comes time to do the actual service. When the store's open, you have to order things um, while the restaurant's running. Jeez, there's a bunch of people out here and stuff, so it can kind of be a pain in the butt. Okay, so we've got, it says the plot task is completed, but it's not. We need to go in here and finish this before we move on. I'm buying double of everything. So we don't run out of food too quickly. Alright, we've already started the third row. We don't want to do that. We'll just stop there and let's go load our list up in the freezer. Do this. Let's open our tablet back up. Let's go back to the here again.
Okay, so that row is clear. Okay, so that's all of it. I'm not purchasing any of this. I bought some of this yesterday, and I couldn't even stock it on the shelves. It won't even let you stock it. So uh, I'm not buying that, and it could be because it's you got to have some special equipment for it that we haven't got yet or whatever. Um, you know, and then I had to do repairs on the building, and so as you can see, it can be, it can be catchy. It can be pretty tough. Okay, so play sockets and connect equipment to the to them. The tablet, tablet, have a song other. Well, E, press E while aiming at the equipment and select the cable icon. Place a cash register, a kitchen table, oven, and refrigerator. So we're going to set up our cash register now. How we're going to do that is to go here, scroll back up, it says cashiers, we're going to grab the cashiers thing, we're going to purchase it, and now we need to figure out where we're going to put this up, set this up. And so what I do, what I'm doing, going to do, E and Q will make this thing rotate. So what I was going to do was set this up here, like this, there's the bum, I can get it to work. Correctly. Now this guy will. Let's come back to this. So he's trying to take a bribe from me. He says yesterday I got beaten up in macro by macro red He didn't want to share a piece of brie cheese that was in the trash of the Italian restaurant. Vesuvius. Now I need to heal my wounds. Give me seven dollars for a couple cans of alcohol and a band aid. Okay, so I just pay him because I don't know what they will do if they're angry. Because it says they can be, they can do damage, and so. Anyways, let's go back here. So I'm trying to figure out a, the best place to put this thing, so it's out of the way of service, and still affords us to take care of the customers. So let's see if we can get this thing so it's square. Yeah, and see, it kind of sucks because it won't let us get it back closer to there. So that seems like where it's the most square. It will let us set it here. I'm trying to save as much room as I can for the tables. So I think we're going to put it right here. Oops. Okay. As you can see, it has a power cord deal. So what I'm going to do is go into my awesome store I am going to scroll down to other these are the power outlets I'm going to place one on the wall here now you see it turn green I'm going to see if I get as close to the floor as I can maybe move it over this way and now we have a rat again see there's a rat Sit F Get the net. We gotta kill the rat. They okay, run under furniture and stuff. That's why it makes it difficult. Yeah, you know, this net thing is kind of a pain in the butt. Alright. There we go. All you gotta do is basically get over the top of them with it one time and you're taken care of. Okay, so we leveled up to two. So we got more money. Let's go back to what we were doing. Okay, so now that I've got this outlet set, we're going to hit E. We're going to go down to the electrical symbol here. We're going to pick this up, and we are going to point it to the light dot towards the outlet, and hit the left button. See that plugs it in. So this is active now. Now we need to place down a... Um, we need to put down kitchen tables. The kitchen tables are also in here. Scroll back up. Now I'm going to go to the furniture. And so we have a couple of options. These ones are 370, which seems a little high. The four seat ones are only 120. I would prefer to have 
some different options, but that's really all the options that we get. So let's go up here. These are 120, so we'll pick these. And you think that these would be more expensive because there's more, they seem a little more nicer. I want to place this table back here as far as I can. I'll place another one next to it here. And then I'll place another one here. Trying to keep them in line with each other. And I'll place another one here. And that's all I'm going to set for tables for right now. Okay, so we have four tables. Now we need to set down a oven and a refrigerator. Now, because I played this game before, I'm, I'm, and I kind of know what's going on, I am going to place down more than one of these. I'm going to place down three. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate these. This is, by the way, a prologue, which is not a fully working game yet. Alright, so I want to be able to cook more than one meal at a time. So I'm going to place one. Two. Because I'm going to see if I can set this one up in a better way than I did yesterday. Three. Alright. I'm going to put it in a fridge. Let's see. Refrigerators are right here. I'm going to put the refrigerator right about. Let me get out of this thing. I put it like right here. Now I need to connect all these appliances up. We need to go down here, here. We have to buy plugs for all of these. So I'm going to place one here. Place another one. Now, I don't know why it's giving me a bad time about placing another one on this row. If I go up higher. There we go. So yeah, the game still does have its little quirks. And we'll place another one right there. And I will hit E, electrical cable, connect. E, electrical cable, connect. And E, electrical symbol, Connect. And I need to come over here once again and buy another outlet. I'm going to put the outlet down here so it's not too visible. E, power cable, connect. Okay, so I placed a register, a kitchen table oven and refrigerator. Now actually I didn't place the kitchen table. Now this is what they're talking about when he's talking about kitchen tables. I thought they were talking about dining room tables and they weren't. They were talking about this. This is, to me is a service table. And so I want to get these in here. I want to get as many of these in here as I can. I want to get three of these in here. I'm going to spin this this way. Try to get it so it's square. Um, you know, I'm using these bricks as kind of a guideline. So I got that kind of square. I'm going to place this right as close this way and this way as I can. There's one. We're going to close that. We know about the power sockets. These do not take power sockets. Now I'm going to spin this one this way. 
Try to get him squared up. It's kind of hard to get these guys square on these lines, as you can see. They're off just just a hair. So I'm just gonna have to call that good. Now I need to get this set place. He has to. There has to be a certain amount of distance from this one. There you go. And so this one will go right here. And then we're gonna try and get another one in down here. Can maybe. Yes. Okay, so that gives us three serving tables, three ovens. So now it's telling us to set the kitchen hood over the stove. Now, the kitchen hood, and now it says we have bills. That's a warning about bills, and you want to pay the bill or otherwise you get fined. So you go to the bill section of the tab, and just pay it, and it's done. You get that notification every time. So this wants us to install a kitchen hood. This is the range hood. Now this thing is massive. So I placed it over the... I'm going to place it over all three of these. If I can get it to place. Where am I? There we go. Alright, so I'm going to place it over all three of these. By placing it centered on this one. And it seems to complete the job that it needs to do. Okay, this is going to require power, so we're going to need to purchase a power outlet for it. So we'll go ahead and do that, and I'm going to put that right... I think we'll put it above it. Now we come down here to him, hit this, it's power symbol, see if we can connect it, there we go, so that looks a little more aesthetically nice, there's no power cords hanging down this way, alright, so we have all that, and then they want us to add a sink, and I'm going to see if we can slide the sink in right here, I don't know if that's going to work or not, because I really like to keep some open spaces so we can add more Stoves and tables if we have to. Okay, so we want to go back up here. I'm going to go to the kitchen. And this is the sink. It's really the only option. Oh, good, it'll work here. Let's we'll spin this thing around. Oops, a little too far. Square it up. Bring it back. Maybe a little more. Nope. As good as we're going to get. Boom. So that's done. Hire an employee at the kitchen table and install two lamps. So we're going to want to hire employees at all of these. So we don't have any staff. And so this is confusing. Some equipment requires workers to assign a worker to this job. First you need to hire one in the management section. In the tablet then you will be able to select them to assign them to the okay so we need to hire three people to fill those slots so it talks about going to the management section hang on let me get so so my game is froze up this happened to me a couple times yesterday as well. Well, no, it didn't. Okay, so, all right. Let's go back out here and use the management. Okay, so choose the best workers so that orders are fulfilled faster and your visitors are always happy. Communicativeness influences the cost of your meals. The higher this indicator is, the higher the chance that the cashier will offer the visitor an extra dish. Motivation decreases over time. The choice is yours. Replace an unmotivated employee with a new one or pay him a bonus 
to increase the rate. All this affects the work, speed of work. All right, so let's close that out. Okay, so it doesn't let us find and hire employees on our own. We have to use this um, pay headhunter thing. Plus, it's 30 bucks per. So I'm going to go like this. This one looks pretty good. We'll hire him. We're going to hire this guy. We're going to pay the headhunter. And I don't want either one of those guys. I don't want that guy. So we're going to close out. I'm going to open the tab up again. I'm going to go back to management. Pay the headhunter. So you got to kind of find a working. You know, this guy's motivation sucks. So I don't want this guy either. So we'll tab out. Just come back into the management. Hopefully we'll find a better luck this time. This guy's pretty good down here, so we'll grab him. So now we have the three employees that we need. Okay, so now you walk up to the table. You hit E. Hire employee. We'll put Barbara over here. We'll go up to this table. Hire employee. We'll put Chuck right here. There's the drunk again. And we'll put Peter here. Okay, so now we have the three people. There's three stoves for them to use to cook. And we can come back here. Let's run outside. The drunk disappeared somewhere. I don't know where he went. I don't know how cool this thing is. Another thing you, you kind of got to watch out for is if you have repairs or infestations or crash problems it'll show under the where it says comfort up there and it'll tell you if you have cockroaches mice or rats i mean if the building needs repairs or if you need to empty the trash can which is here and those are things you just got to kind of look out for so now we need to in install two lamps and so what we're going to do is go back in here. We're going to go down to lamps. We have a lot of different variety of lamps that we can put in. In the kitchen, I'm going to put in a couple of these lamps. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put in a couple of these lamps in the kitchen area to help illuminate this place. So we'll put this... See if we can get it on the same room as that. So we'll put one down here, like this. We'll put another one back down here, about here, I guess, like this. But we want to put some in the dining room as well. Now they didn't say anything about it. So I'm going to go back in here because I don't want to put them same kind of lights in the dining room. So I think we're going to go with something. Kind of like this, I guess. I'm going to put it right in the middle right here. We'll call it good. So, we're all set. Place two bio toilets outside. Now, let's go down here to construction. No. Searching up. Can't remember where these are. Are they in furniture? Nope. Kitchen. No. Toilet, there it is. Okay. These are five hundred bucks a piece. Now there's only one area that you can the only place you can put these is in the screen area. I chose to put them back over here. And 
You want to place it so the door handle is facing out. I put one there and another one right there. Okay, it says open the restaurant and serve 50 customers. So we're pretty well set. We have a cockroach, so we need to do some things before we open this thing. We're going to go back in here. We're going to go to... No, we're not going to go in here. We're going to go to tools. And we're going to buy the cockroach spray. Okay, so we're going to open the tab, or the, we're going to hit F. We're going to grab this. Now, this, these are going to always be in the kitchen. They look like this. So all you do is the spray. And stand there and hold down the left button. And spray until they're gone, and there you go. Mm. Problem solved. And I knew that because if I looked up there in that right upper, in the top right of my screen where it says comfort, I saw the, what the cockroach symbol was, there was a one, which told me there's cockroaches over there. All right, so we need to open the restaurant. To do that, you have to open up the tab. You go down here, and you click the open button. And now the fun starts. <clears throat> so because the prices that I set for this food, I'm imagining customers aren't going to just show up real fast. We will change that. Uh, we'll lower the price on something, one or two items to get them coming more often once we see how things roll. We just don't want to overwhelm ourselves at first because it can be bad. And the task that it's telling us that we need to do is to open a restaurant, open a tablet. In the lower right corner, click on the red sign. At this stage in the development of the restaurant, you must take orders at the checkout yourself. Press E, aim at the checkout, and select the desired dish from the menu. After the completion of 50 orders, the prologue will be complete. Okay, so here comes our first customer. The thing is, is we need to make a profit as well. We're at, we've already spent uh, what we started with eight thousand. We're down to three thousand. And so here comes some woman. Now they also will track stuff. You have to watch for that too. All right, sometimes visitors can leave footprints on the floor to keep it clean. Buy a mop at the tool store. We already bought one, so we're good with that. Let's look and see, and this is what it's talking about. We'll hit F. We'll hit the broom or the mop. It's actually a broom, and we'll sweep it up. That takes care of that issue. Now we come over to the register, we click E. She wants the mushroom soup. So there are the soups. We will click mushroom soup. And we have to wait for the order to be completed. So in order to get out of the screen, I have to click here and then click on the X. Escape doesn't work. So they seat themselves by themselves already. <clears throat> And if we wait for it for a minute, um, one of the cooks will come out, bring it over, and set it in this area here. We have another customer coming. And so let me do a few of these like this. And then I will lower the price on some of that stuff. And here comes the guy with the food. Now I can pick it up by going back into the register. Shows that I have one ready. Take. Go over. Press E. Serve the food. Now I can come back and take this order. Pizza margarita. Get the pizzas. Get the margarita. There again, he will serve himself. Or seat himself. So what we can do to speed things up is to go back into our menu. We can take the pizza. I'm going to take the mushroom soup. Well, no, nah, I already bought the ingredients for it, so we're going to have to stick with that. I really like to add another item because I forget that there's a... The rating of your restaurant is the most important indicator. It is displayed at the top 
screen as stars. The more stars, the more customers will visit. To increase the rating, keep it clean, pay the automatic repairs. Serve customers faster the longer they wait. At the cash register, the lower the rating they will leave, the tastier the copy, the higher the rating, and much more. Maintain comfort, and the more comfort items in your establishment, the higher comfort. Good luck. Alright, so back up here somewhere, I'm missing something. The four cheese pizza. So we want to add that to the menu. And I think we have ingredients for that already with what we purchased. So we should be alright. Okay, so we got some customers here. Let's go ahead and take some more orders. Pizza carbonara, or pasta carbonara. So let's take the order instead. Take. We don't want him waiting too long. Let's get the customer's orders again now. She wants pasta carbonara. So we need to get pasta, pasta carbonara. And then we need to come back out. We can help the next customer. This one wants pasta carbonara as well. Pasta carbonara. This one wants pizza margarita. Okay, so now we've got, we got customers rolling. We have two stars on our rating. We should have a tip over here we can collect. Yep. Hopefully the food will be back pretty soon. He left his tip. Here comes some food. Take that. Now it should highlight the one that this is supposed to go to. So we didn't obviously get the meal. So we have to come back in. We're going to show ready. We're going to take the pasta carbonara. Okay. Yeah, now see that guy's highlighted. That's his meal. Go back over, open this up. We'll take this one. That's another pasta carbonara. That's her meal. Oh, we got a rat. So we got to get that dealt with. Take the margarita pizza. Take it over, give it to her. So it's really all about we need to get that rat. Lasagna. Now you'll see items on the table, you want to pick them up. And you see the, there'll be coffee cups and skull heads and just trash, like there's a coffee cup. I'm going to make sure you keep that stuff clean. Take this guy's order, he wants lasagna as well. We have some repairs we need to do, and then we need to sweep the floor. So let's do the sweeping. We have some orders that are ready. Or at least one. Let's grab the lasagna. Let's feed her. Alright, so it says that we have seven repairs and eight trash. Let's see what we got in trash. Let's take clear the trash out. Okay, so we need to order trash for pickup. Oh, let's shoot. Trash pickup, which is going to be in my restaurant. Order them to pick it up. That sucks because now the trash is going to overflow. We have a customer. Let's do the customer. Pizza carbonara.
We have an order that's ready. Let's pick that up. We'll deliver it to this guy. Because as you remember, we can't pick the trash up until the trash guy is done. Now it's empty, so now we can clear it out. Okay. So that says that. Now it says we have nine issues of trash outside. Let's use the rake. Might make this a five, I think. So the rest must be out back here somewhere. We have a repair here. Make sure our windows are fixed. Repair our tiles. We have somebody at the register, so we want to hurry up. We don't want to leave you. We've been waiting too long. I don't know where the other trashes are. It says we still have four. And I can't see where they're at. And we need to go get his order taken, so let's run to the register. Up our tips. We got the trash. So we're gonna take his order. Lasagna. Looking back up here, it says we have two repair items still. Lasagna. Pizza Carbonara. So like I said, it says we need two repair items still, and I don't know where those would be. They could be on the roof. Let's run up there and look at the roof real quick. Yep. The... All right, let's climb down. So we still have five trash issues. We have to pay our bills. Let's pay the bills. Okay, so those are footprints for part of the problem. All right, so let's take the orders to the customers. Lasagna, thanks to him. He wants pizza mar margarita. Another lasagna, that goes to her. Sometimes, unless you get right in front of them, it gets confused. It says it's another customer's order. So that must be something that we need to work on. That be a bug that I will report. Pizza carbonara goes to this guy back here. This woman. Okay. So we have two more problems, issues with dirt. We have served 11 of 50. So I'm not seeing, let's go pick up the tip. Make sure the table is clear. Oh, we got the freezer open. That's probably not too good. Let's keep the freezer closed. We got some more, another tip here and trash. There's another tip here and more trash. 
And you have a guy at the register of pizza carbonara. It's really popular. Pizza margarita is ready. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Pick up our tip. And we probably have another customer. Not yet. We're going on trash. So, I don't know... Well, there's some more footprints right here. Take care of those. I just don't know where the trash would be. Unless it's in the main kitchen. Because I'm not seeing any more leaves or that kind of issue. Unless it's counting out here in the electrical shed. I don't think that is the case. Hey, look, somebody's using the bathroom. Oh, there's a footprint there. Let's look and see if we have trash in here somewhere. Nope. No trash. So I'm not real sure where those where the problem is because I can't see them. Well now it's showing the trash is zero. Okay, so we should be good. We got an order that's ready. Pizza carbonara. Well there's a couple of footprints there. Some more here. Looks like we have another air order ready. Nope. Forty two fifty, eight more to go. So yeah, I think this will be a pretty fun game. I could probably do some more decorating in here by putting down some furniture. Let's see, just tables all we get. There's no furniture, furniture. Just put down the welcome mat. My green light isn't on it yet. Serve the food. Pick up the trash and the chips. Pour. That says we have four. Okay. Yeah, because I should be able to see the footprints on this, no problem. But obviously, there's some footprints somewhere that I can't find. Because there is no trash, no leaves, no anything. Seven more customers to go. Hopefully we're going to make it with the food we have. Okay, so the guy walks in and walks right back out. That can't be good. And then he made, he made a mess. That says we have three. 
Are you kidding me with this? Oh, there's another one. So the, the storms come up, as you heard earlier, and they're really, really super loud. But they have a tendency to damage stuff, and so that's where the hammer comes in. So when you see something from that, it's usually after one of those storms. Here's another one. Just comes in and walks back out. So the restaurant is empty. Now's a good time to order more stuff. There's one. And now it's back down to one again. So, we are at 43 out of 70. Finally, another customer. Pasta carbonara! So we have unpaid bills, pay that, get back here. I will edit some of this out. I'm just trying to get through this first playthrough. Sure wish I could find out where these... Well, I know where the footprints are. This gotta be the trash. Oh, it's not there yet. Pick this up, clean that trash up. I can't find these footprints, or whatever's giving me these. These things got another positive review. All right, this guy wants mushroom soup. Give me trash.
now we have these piles out there. That thing is super loud. Yeah, I'm seeing the leaf piles. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's shut. Pick up our tip. Let's hook up the rake. I don't know why these guys, not enough food or equipment, I don't know why these guys are coming and leaving, so we must be low on food or something. Or whatever the guy was trying to order. Let's order some more food. Let's run inside and take these orders. Like a mouse, rat. We got cockroaches. Oh, we leveled up to level three. That's it. So that's the end of the game. No continuing. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, got a good idea about it. They're going to ask you to write a survey. Add to your wish list for feedback and for bug reports. 
I will be playing this again uh, probably in the next day or so, and that's when I will give my feedback and bug reports and whatnot. But thanks for watching. This is Crazy with Crazy Gaming. Um, if you haven't hit that subscription, do me a favor and hit that for me. It helps me out a lot. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. And hit that bell. You'll get a notification when we drop our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. This is Crazy with Crazy Gaming. Bye now.